Okay, so hello everyone and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy X. And basically, what I've been doing for the past, I don't know, maybe 10 or so in-game hours, uh, which, you know, obviously this is not 10 hours after the last session. I don't even remember when the last session was. I think it was like on Thursday or something. Uh, I've been playing this basically on my off time, you know, kind of try and beef up the three main party members that I'm using. And so far, so good. At this point, I think I've kind of wrapped up most of what I want to do with them. Uh, and they're reaching the, the HP cap. As you can see, two of them have reached the HP cap. Although I believe it's through items, per se. Like, it, I'm using HP boosting items on at least Riku. Yeah, see, her HP gets boosted by 40%. So if I remove this, she'll lose that. Yeah, she's actually at about 7,000. And uh, I like the auto shell, which is why that's a good thing to have around. Um, and... What, what's the other guy? Kimahri. Yeah, he definitely has his HP boosted, but only by 10%, so it's not that much. Uh, so I've been grinding these guys up. You know, I've been beefing them up. And at this point, Kimahri has now kind of done a lot. Uh, I've taught these guys a lot of stuff. You know, to prepare them for some of the end game stuff. So, for example, Oren I've had learned basically most... Oh my god, 97 MP. I've had Oren learn most of the white magic... I've also done some of the stuff I needed to do for Orin's uh, Celestial Weapon, which is basically the super weapon that every character has in the game. Now, obviously, I'm not going to do some of them. Some of them I just, well, first of all, only, you know, four of these characters I don't even use, so there's no point in me getting the Celestial Weapons for them. Uh, of the remaining three, I don't want to get Riku's, because Riku can barely deal over 2,000 in melee damage. In fact, the highest I think I've ever seen her do is like 1,600 on a crit. Uh, so there's no point in me boosting her and getting her Celestial Weapon. Um, however, Kimahri's Special Weapon, I might. Then the reason I say this is because I believe that everybody's Special Weapon allows them to break the damage limit, which is basically 9999 or 9999. It allows them to surpass that damage limit. However, you know, I, I've, I've looked up how to get Orin and how to get Kimahri's uh, Celestial Weapons. Kimahri seems to be far more annoying. Orin's was simply more time-consuming. Basically, what I had to do for Orin's is I had to go all around uh, Spira, capturing all the different monsters for the monster arena. And at this point, I have it. In fact, I think it's, uh, it's a key item. It is the Mars Sigil. That's that's uh, each, each character has a certain, like, celestial body that corresponds with them. So, for example, I think the sun is Titus and the moon is Yuna, I believe. Saturn is actually uh, Kimahri, I think, and I don't know about the rest of them, because I don't really care about them. And yeah, so I've been running around the world, I did a whole bunch of stuff. Blossom Crown, I have no clue what that's for. I don't even remember where I found it. Okay, Hidden Aeon, well, I have no clue. Oh, that's probably what I got for doing uh, Capturing Monsters. Yeah, and the Mercury Crest is for, I think, Riku, maybe? I don't, I don't know. But all I know is that uh, Mars is for, uh, what's his name, Oron. And that's basically what I want to do because Oron, you know, as you already know, Oron basically deals over the damage limit. It just gets set down to it. So I'm here in this cave <clears throat> for whatever reason. I, I was grinding here. And actually, let me show the sphere grid. As you can see, I've had Kimahri finish up Oron's tree. After finishing up Waka's tree, I had him... Uh, I forget if I had him teleport. No, I had him come all the way back down, go up, go around. I don't know if I've done anything with Kimahri, really. The major emphasis has been on Orin, who before I was trying to get him to learn auto life, because I wanted Riku to learn it, so I moved him all the way up here. And I had him stuck here, and he gained like 50 S level because I couldn't find a level 4 lock sphere. And then eventually I got it, and I moved him back down along here. Basically, you know, what I did before, where I had so much spare stuff for him. And now, uh, now he's learning a lot of white magic. I'm going to try and have Kimahri travel. Well, first he needs to learn Ultima, but I'm going to have him learn black magic next so he can be like a secondary caster. I think that will be very helpful. Uh, Riku, on the other hand, I'm focused more on magic, as you can see. And now I'm actually having Riku go into her own tree. Like, I'm actually going to have her learn a whole bunch of stuff. And I actually taught her Bribe. Because that's how you get level 4 lock spheres after a certain point. You bribe one of the Calmlands monsters and they give you level 4 lock spheres. 
which is why my magic is I mean my guild kind of went down it was over three million um so now the question is what do I want to do <laughs> now that I basically leveled everybody completely over leveled the shit out of them I'm thinking that what I'll do is I'll probably explore this cave and then I'll I'll pull up the tab where that tells me how to get orange orange celestial weapon because I'll never figure that out oh good and the first battle is an ambush that's always delightful. Silence, Riku. Damage to everybody. Can't silence someone twice. Well, I'm getting out of here. Bye-bye. That sucks. The first fight is an ambush. And I swear, this place is so dark, I can't even see where I need to go. Uh, let me steal. Mega Potion. And insta-kill. Kimahri basically can't miss now because I had him learn Waka's abilities. Oh crap, this actually is in its own area. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of encounters in here. Now, you can kill Tonberries. I think I'll kill him. A little tricky, especially when you deal over the damage limit. Like, watch. Orin will deal that much damage. And he'll die, and he'll get killed instantly. Unfortunately. I don't think Kimahri gets instant killed. Yeah, he doesn't. Still the mana spring. The only problem about this cave is sometimes you'll encounter monsters that will basically inst or can basically decimate you on the first turn, which is a problem. Unfortunately, they will do that. There we go. Full life Orin. I'm not gonna have him kill himself. No, not black. Use Kiraga. There we go. I don't expect Orin's magic to be that good anyway. I'm just going to teach him it just in case we need someone to do secondary healing. Farewell. Thank you. Hmm. Let's go. 20 20 grand just for killing one Tonberry. Once you get past the fact that he basically insta-kills the higher level party members, they're not that hard. Alright, he learned Sentinel. He can go into Riku's tree, but that's not where I want to put him. Alright, now Riku... Have her go the, over here. All right, now she needs to go down this way first to get these couple of nodes. Copycat. And then she'll all have a wrap around here. And then basically it looks like most of this, uh, the special moves are in Riku's tree, as you can see. Like luck and everything. At this point, luck is kind of worthless and it won't help me at all. Sure these are like black lamps well not black but they're, they're dark Eh, I shouldn't fight everything it's not like I have ethers to burn
On top of that, you know there's probably going to be stuff inside. Well, I just won't go too fast, I guess. Uh, where is it? What the hell? Who am I controlling? Oh, crap. I had a memory blank for a second. Kimahri and Orin have gotten so similar, it's hard for me to tell them apart at, you know, first glance. I know how weird that sounds, but just looking, without looking at the arrow, it's hard to tell. Couldn't steal it. Only things I gotta worry, uh, worry for are the big Marlboros, which can use bad breath, and that could be very bad. And uh, a couple others. Oh, fight. Petrified grenade. If you don't open the chest, uh, a monster no doesn't waste. spawn. It doesn't always spawn, but sometimes it does, so... Ah, they disappear. What the fuck? She needs to go this way. Since I have plenty of all these key spheres and I can bribe them out of other enemies. Is that it? I guess so. Yeah, that enemy in the middle right there casts this ability called Poison Mist. It can confuse you, it poisons you, it can cast silence. But it has stamina springs, which I think are good for something. If I look... Piercing, you need level 2, but every Orin weapon has piercing. There you go, I could put Stone Strike. It might almost, it might insta-kill. Just for, just for using it. How about this? Stone Strike, Zombie Strike, and Death Strike on all of, on an Orin sword. Why not? Evade and counter. Well, I already have counter. I should put Gillionaire on on something. And I gotta get I gotta find out how to get Mega Elixirs too. But I should put Gillionaire because that way I'd be able to uh, make double the money. But money isn't that big of an issue. It's not hard to make money in this game. So I don't really need to. There's nothing I want to put on here. This is for him, right? Tetra Bracer, so for example, what could I put on here? I could put on... Oh crap, a lot of proofs. I could put on Confuse Proof, which is really helpful. Sometimes protects against Berserk. Oh, you need Hypello Potions. Okay. I want to put on Berserk Proof, Confuse Proof, and like Dark Proof. You need Smoke Bombs. I have no clue where to get those from. Yeah, there's a couple of things I want to put on for Auron. Ugh. What about Kimaku? What do I have for him? Which is Armlet. Pretty much the same thing for him. Ice Gem. Alright, so I need to, like, farm a bunch of Hypello Potions, but I'm not doing that now. Auto Shell. Auto Protect. I need Light Curtains. I have no clue where to get those from. Auto Reflect. Having Auto Shell and Auto Protect would be very helpful. Stamina Tonic. Wait, it only takes one to put this on? What? What the hell? Okay, I thought it would take way more than that. But the problem is, he's already at max HP, right? With just HP plus 10, so it doesn't matter. 